Hi, my name's Clark. I'm with our global revenue enablement team here at Reich, and I'm joined by Jess Wooding and Bree Perry. Jess is going to be kind enough to be taking a few notes behind the scenes, but we're here to interview Bree with our revenue operations team, talking about strategic goals and company OKRs. So welcome, Bree. Could you introduce yourself and, and tell us a little bit about your, your title and your role here at Reich? Yeah, thanks, Clark. Um, so I'm Bree. I lead a mini project management office here at Reich, where we have the pleasure of working cross-functionally with all of our different departments across the company to help them and us achieve our, our business goals. Fantastic. And can you tell us a little bit about what some of the key business needs are for Reich when it comes to strategic planning? Yeah, so there's kind of three main, I would say, process areas when it comes to, to strategic planning. So we have a process of collecting all of the brilliant ideas that we get. Then we have to approve them, assess them with our executive leadership leadership team, and finally prioritize them to make sure we're working on the right things at the right time so we drive the right goals. Um, and then from there, we really need a single source of truth that we can utilize to communicate this strategy to the entire company in terms that everyone can understand. Wow. Well, that's no small task. Um, so for today's topic, we are specifically talking about OKRs and strategic objectives. We know you were intimately involved in implementing um, a recent improvement with our OKR workflows here at Reich. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what led to this decision to improve our Reich OKR workflows? Yeah, so, and I've been through a couple of iterations actually with our OKR process at Reich, but this year we made a really big change with a decision to focus on creating our annual OKRs instead of just quarterly OKRs. So it allowed us to be more focused on high impact long-term goals as opposed to short-term and quick wins related to specific projects. So with that, we thought what a brilliant time to just revamp the way we're doing this and bring better visibility into our company. And we also had a couple of great new features recently released um, that I'm really excited about that allowed us to create better views for our company. So we said, let's use them and figure out how to make this more impactful. Very cool. So what new features or capabilities specifically are you leveraging or are you excited about implementing with your team? Um, and or what would you say are some of the keys to getting this solution up and running effectively with our teams? Yeah, uh, I could talk about Reich's features all day long because I live in Reich and without it, I would not be able to succeed myself. But um, I'll call it the top three specifically that helped create a seamless OKR process. Um, the very first one is called selective sharing. So our executive team, they do their yearly planning in Q4, and we want to give them space to ideate on our key outcomes that we're going to drive next year, but we don't necessarily want it to be visible to every single person in the company yet. So with selective sharing, we can have only certain approved roles see what the ideas for our OKRs are before we get transparency to everyone, um, which would happen after we do the approval. So selective sharing is definitely number one. Number two, uh, my favorite custom fields. Um, so since teams typically struggle figuring out how their work connects to the company objectives and gives it, giving that visibility, we actually use custom fields to connect our department level projects in Reich to our company key results, which are also in Reich. And so those custom fields are key to create these masterful views and see how all the different departments and teams across the company are contributing to our overall company success. And then finally, number three, this is our newer feature um, that I'm obsessed with, new dashboards. It saves my life um, even beyond these OKRs, but it, new dashboards is our one visible way to create pie graphs, column graphs, all of these awesome views to show where we're at today and where we're headed. So how successful are we being at achieving those OKRs? So selective sharing, custom fields, new dashboards, I'll cut it off there, um, but those are my top three. Now, uh, dashboards are definitely one of my personal favorites. Um, are those real-time dashboards or are they like a static, just moment in time capture? Yeah, so they can be real time depending on, you know, what makes sense to show real time. So you can update those actuals on a weekly, daily, monthly basis, whatever you feel is appropriate, appropriate. And you can even build integrations if you want to get super fancy with it to update those values. Um, but it's a great way for people at any moment um, to go in and say, hmm, I'm not sure where we're at with that care. Let me go to this dashboard. Oh, now I do. Perfect. Problem solved. Um, so those that data is collected there. So anybody at any different level across the company can see where we're at. 
Fantastic. So if you were to share the main reason why Reich specifically was the clear choice for this solution, what would that be? Everything is in one place, period. So anybody, again, in any single role can see this um, and across the company. So they're not questioning. They don't have to come to me to know where we're at. They don't have to wait for a company all hands that happens monthly. So having everything in just one place is one of the most amazing things. And Reich is very flexible. So with our new process of moving from quarterly to annual KRs, we're able to modify everything in just a couple different clicks to make it easy for everyone to see what matters to them. Awesome. Now that we have successfully launched this, um, and I remember seeing this in one of our company all hands, um, how has this benefited the executive leadership team? Um, and more importantly, what about your immediate team and some of the cross-functional teams that you work with? So I guess that's three questions in one, but let's start with ELT. Um, how has yeah. this benefited our own executive leadership team? Yeah, so with our ELT, uh, they used to question, where are we at? What are companies doing to help us drive our company goals? So going back to that single source of truth, we have it. They can pin it so they can easily bring it up at any moment's notice and go, okay, this is where we are. I feel comfortable or, ooh, I see a risk here. I'm going to engage a little bit more. So we can drive that visibility at the right time for their weekly cadence meetings when they meet with each other and talk about OKRs. Um, and I'll go to your next question for the immediate and cross-functional teams. It's actually pretty similar, but from their perspective, I can go, what am I doing or what is my team doing to help the company drive forward its goals? So with our views, you can see, oh, we're working on that project and it directly connects to this KR. I get it now. I see how I am driving our company forward as an individual and as a broader team. So people are focusing on the right things that actually help us drive forward and swim in the same direction together. So, uh, you know, one of the things that I particularly loved about these dashboards is the ability to actually click in, right? So we look at the overall KR and how it's progressing towards that objective, but then we can actually click in and see not only what am I doing, but what are my peers doing? Right. What is the work that I'm waiting on in order to do my piece of the puzzle so that I know that I'm delivering on time and supporting these key initiatives? Yeah, I, I personally love having these new custom fields uh, that are universal across the company, it allows us to tag some of the work we're doing so that we can get credit uh, for supporting some of these company goals. Um, and also, I think, prioritize some of the work that may not be contributing to some of the things that are a priority for the business. Um, and I think that's uh, been a godsend because it helps us focus and really align on the work that our team needs to do too. Um, so uh, one other thing I would ask you is anything else that you would like your peers in the industry to know so that they can help do less and get more done with Reich? Yeah, so one of my recommendations, regardless if it's OKRs or any other um, kind of project management or just a correlation of events that you're trying to do, start with that high level vision. If you go to the tactics right away, you're missing out on the big picture. So think about what are the real outcomes I'm trying to achieve? What is the visibility I'm trying to bring? What is the efficiency I'm trying to bring? Start with that high level vision. And then from there, Reich makes it easy to have your work just flow right through, standardizing everything to make sure we're talking the same language and ensure that accountability is there and in the right place. But definitely recommend to start with that vision and then Reich has the versatility to, to make it go from there and make it successful. All right. Well, one final question I'll ask, and this just sort of came to me is, um, how would you socialize this? So let's assume that the ELT is on board. You've aligned on your company vision and your goals. You've even come up with some of the things that are going to help accomplish that. Um, how do you cascade that and socialize it so that you get better adoption? Because maybe not everybody in the company is using Reich. Um, What are some pro tips that you might share there? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, one, you need that executive leadership support to actually make it successful. If they're not kind of banging the drum with you, then people are just going to close their ears and focus on other things. Um, but having the, the multi-thread of communication is absolutely key. So you can use, you know, whatever your communication platform is, we use Slack out, right? And so we'll be sending messages. Hey, remember this dashboard here? We reinforce in our company, all hands, we're red, yellow, green. This is where we're at. We have different speakers to make it a little bit more interactive. Um, and then even in your individual one-on-one -on -one meetings or team meetings, you bring it up again. Hey, this is how we're contributing to our company's success. And look at this view. Look at how much we're doing to, to help each other out. So just having that multi-thread communication is absolutely key. 
um, to make sure that, that again, we're all swimming in the same direction and not stepping on each other's toes. Fantastic. Well, I want to thank you for joining us today and most importantly for sharing your insights with us. Uh, please, for those of you watching now, uh, stay tuned. We're going to queue up a few additional resources where you can go to Reich.com and download templates and other best practices and pro tips to get started right away if you want to start including your OKRs and company goals inside of Reich. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll talk soon.